Hello, fellow adventurers. Um, I'm Wade, and thanks for watching Nord Bites. Uh, I just want to start off by apologizing for my first Vivek City video. Uh, it was the first video I've ever done on here, um, and uh, it was a nightmare. I was uh, the music was too loud. I rambled at times. I didn't even under I couldn't even understand some of the things I was saying when I watched it again on YouTube. Um, but uh, I learned a lot from that. There's going to be, and this is a new channel, so there's going to be growing pains and a lot of troubleshooting to get better quality videos. So thank you for bearing with me and actually watching another one with uh, watching another one of my videos. They will get better, I promise. They'll get better. Um, but with that being said, um, today we're going to check out Stormhold, and uh, when, that's in Shadowfen, and we're going to do it with my character, uh, Uncle Chief Druck. He is a um, He's a Magic Warden Argonian. I know he looks Breton, but that character creator screen at the beginning when you make your character is amazing. So just take my word for it. He is Argonian. Right now he's in uh, the Ample Domicile, which is in Shadowfen. And Shadowfen is right here in the Black Marsh area. It's in, uh, about, it's in southeastern um, Tamriel. Shadowfen. And actually, there's only two houses here. Uh, there's no apartment or anything. And this is the ample domicile I'm in, and the Stay Moist Mansion. That's around, oh, I'm guessing, about 700,000 gold. I can't remember right off the bat. Um, I have it on my other, on the other server, but I just haven't gotten around to getting it on this one. Uh, the ample domicile, though, is just right on the outskirts of Stormhold, and it's 195,000 gold. Um, I know that for a new player, that's definitely a lot. Um, actually, uh, for people that are playing a couple of years, that's still a good chunk of change. And um, as you can see, I really haven't done much to it. I've just put up like a light and table and, um, and a little loft here where he can go to bed and sleep. But uh, yeah, he's, this is just kind of a place to stay for a night and night or two. But he's definitely not going to be inviting family over for any Thanksgiving or holidays. And uh, on the yard, like I said, I haven't really done anything to it. Um, but I got his mount here, which is cool. One of the cool mounts that uh, it came out with, if you pre-ordered the Blackwood chapter that came with it, and it worked out with this character perfect. And there's his little bog dog pet right there. All right, anyway, moving on. We're gonna go outside of the Ample Domicile. Now this is on the this is on the outskirts, like I was saying. Um, and on the opposite side of the town is the Way Shrine, which that's where we'll head right now, because that's where most people actually go when they come to Stormhold. You know, I don't I don't come to Stormhold a lot, actually, uh, just for questing, really. And uh, as, if I see something in Tamriel Trade Center I want, and um, sometimes the guild trader that has it is here. So usually those are pretty much all the, the only two things I come here for. And it is fun to check it out every once in a while, but I, I rarely come here, to be honest. Um, and here's, a, we got the Mage's Guild as soon as you get in town from this side. And what we'll do, we'll head over to the Way Shrine. And right across this bridge is the Fighter's Guild. And then we'll head over to that Way Shrine. Yeah, Stormhold, I mean, it's definitely not one of my favorites, but... And it's not bad, especially if I mean if you like Argonians, and I guess this is this is for you. There's tons of them here. Well, of course, it's Shadowfin, Black Mars. So, but anyway, here's the Way Shrine, and we've got the Stable Master right here. And I think I've already leveled him up today. Yep, I have. So we we'll have to do that. But yeah, you can hop off the way shrine if you want to like park one of your characters here. You can uh, park him to the stable master, get your riding abilities up, and then actually right here in the t center of town is this little circle here. And then here's the guild traders that I go to a lot. There's five of them. Like one, two, one, two, three. Four, five, and uh, yeah, guild traders are on the inside, and then we've got some shops, the armor, clothing, and uh, leather people. I guess the clothing is leather, but um, you know what I mean. The pack merchant was over here. Yeah, where was he? I saw him. 
I know I did. Oh, right there. Okay. <laughs> anyway, on the outside, yeah, all those shops. We've got all those fun stuff. Okay. Then we go straight up here, straight north to the bank. And it's just like any other bank, really. Um, and, of course, it's... I'm sure it's run by an Argonian, from what I can recall. Yep, exactly. She's right there, under root. Your riches will be well looked after. She seems nice, I guess. And then um, you go downstairs. Looks like somebody is playing hooky or taking a lunch break. There's nobody down at just a desk. Okay, that's a bank. That's not really all that thrilling. But it's nice because the bank is right beside the crafting area. And here's one of the nice things um, is the outfit station is right here with all your the crafting areas where you can do your Ritz. Um, that's one thing about Vivek City I, I, I'm not fond of is that the outfit station there is in that those uh, those buildings like where your apartment is. The St. I think St. Dillon penthouse. And uh, yeah, and those things are a nightmare to traverse or go inside. It's like I get lost still. After two and a half years, I still get lost in that place. It's nuts. Um, okay, we got the right by the office station. You got your alchemy table. And then over here, you got your clothing station. And right over here, your blacksmithing station. And then in order to get to wood working station, you go up here to the, this level, the top level. Right there. You get down here, and here is your enchanting and jewelry stations. And the boards, here's one board. The other board is on the other side there. It's pretty easy to find. Um, and right here is your merchant. Now, uh, actually, I just noticed this the, just a little bit earlier. Um, what you do is you have to actually accept this quest. Until, uh, you know, and then you can access this door. I mean, you don't have to complete it, but you do have to um, accept it. And then you can sell things. And once you complete it, of course, you don't have to. He doesn't offer any more quests. He's just a regular old merchant. But anyway, <clears throat> heading over here, this is the provisioning area. This is another thing I don't like. A lot of towns actually have this to where you have to go in and out of buildings. I know it's like really petty, but like a lot of banks and a lot of provisioning areas, you actually have to go inside somewhere to cook. Your side. I just don't like going in and out of places. That's why I love Vivek City because... Everything is just out in the open. It's just pop, 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 done, deliver, and your writs are done. Um, and here, though, is uh, uh, it's nice. It's kind of it's more convenient, Vivek City, because the, the Tales of Tribute place is also in those buildings uh, there. But here, it's in this uh, provisioning area, this little tavern. Um, Tales of Tribute, of course, is the card game you get if you buy High Isle. Um, I uh, I don't play. I, I I don't play it as much as I did when it first came out. I played the crap out of it um i tried to grind because i wanted to get to that master level and i finally did but it took good three four i mean days of i mean hours and hours of grinding to get there and uh, so i got kind of burnt out on it and so i gave up for a little bit and uh i just stopped playing for a while now i'm kind of getting back into it because i want to collect all the cards and all the decks but that's for another day now another thing that i'm not too fond of was stormhold is you have to go all the way over here back to the way shrine in order to hand in your writs. I mean, yeah, it's not, like I said, a lot of this stuff, me complaining, I'm not, yeah, I guess it is a little complaining, but I know it's petty, but it's just, I'm spoiled with Vivek City because right here is where you drop them off, just right on the other side of the way shrine. Just pop, pop, pop right there. But yeah, Vivek City does spoil me, and so I, you know, if I, I, I shouldn't, like, hold my standards to, uh, for everything, for all the risks to, you know, when I'm comparing other, um, other cities to Vivek City, I shouldn't, like, have Vivek City be the standard, but I do, it's just a habit, I guess. But anyway, that's this video of Stormhold uh, in Shadowfed. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, just to let you know, I will be having a giveaway when I get 1,000 subscribers. Um, I think we'll start small and we'll do a classic home. Um, that's not one of the small houses or the notable big ones, but that one's kind of in the middle, like uh, Gwynmouth. Well, let's see. What is it? Uh, I always mispronounce it. But like, uh, there you go. Uh, Gryhar Gr Grimhearth's well. Sorry, like one of those, or uh, there's other houses, I can't recall it. The ones that are about three, four 400000 the middle tier houses. Actually, we can look here. 
houses, classic homes. Yeah, one of these. I'll let the person pick, actually, uh, what house they want, and it'll be furnished. So, uh, yeah, once we get 1,000 subscribers, so please do subscribe, and please like this video. Like I said, they'll keep getting better, and until then, fellow adventurers, until then.